What's up guys, we're here today with some Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe. It is, as it suggests, a puzzle platformer made by Adult Swim Games on Steam for $8. Uh, we're just going to go into single player, show you a little bit of that. It does have local multiplayer, so I can control both of these right here. Uh, just with my keyboard, local multiplayer. Uh, it's really awkward. <laughs> as well as some challenges, so there are certain special environment challenges. And you'll understand what I mean uh, once we get into single player here. So, I'm going to start with the ninja outfit. You start with just the cape. Oh, you can see I have the jetpack, the domino mask, rocket man, and hachimaki. Uh, but I'm, I prefer the double jump of the ninja. So we're going to start with the ninja, and we're just going to start at the very basic area. Troublesome tech, you can also see I have War of the Woods unlocked, and there's quite a bit more available. I believe there are secret levels beyond what you can see here. So, this game is very interesting. You are a character, and you chuck these little stars, and you chuck the stars to break the blocks. Now, as with most block-breaking games, if you get multiple blocks together, see all those pink blocks, they're all gonna burst. When you destroy the blocks, these little Dorito triangle things come out. I believe the devs specifically said, no, they're not Doritos, but they sure look like little Dorito chips. As you collect enough of these little, little chips, really don't want to break that green one. The spikes down there will kill you. <laughs> I figure that kind of goes without saying. As you collect enough of these chips as I'm going to do right here, you level up. As you can see the top left, I'm now level 2, which means I do more damage. Ooh, that was a big one. And I am slightly more resistant to being crushed by blocks. If you're level 1, you get crushed by a block, you're dead. If you're level 2, you go back to level 1. You can see I'm kind of avoiding the, the little laser ball right there. It's very dangerous. Okay, that just the little TNT. Whoop! Oh, that was close. A little TNT thing went off. And destroy the little laser for me, which was nice. I could also destroy it by shooting it or the blocks next to it. Alright, let's grab the invincibility star. Boom, blow that up. With the invincibility star, you can jump up and down on the spikes all you want, doesn't hurt you. Same for the spikes down at the bottom. Alright, break that huge block. Smoke it. So you can understand why it's called a puzzle platformer at this point. You have to figure out how to stay alive for as long as possible, the puzzle part, while platforming to not die from all the blocks that are constantly just landing on you and from all the, the spike traps like that, both of these. You can run across them. If I stand here, you can see I'm perfectly fine. If I were to jump on it, I would die. Uh, so that is pretty cool. You can just run across them if it's uh, an equal plane. Let's just get rid of those. Whoa. The game is designed so that even if it seems like a bad situation with all those blocks falling, there is still a way out. There we go. There's always a way for you to escape. And I love that about this game design. Is it whoop? Oh, geez. See, now I gotta be careful. It's, but this is a good time to show that uh, the little chips will f keep falling from the sky. Oh, yeah, there's the level down. Level back up with all the little chips I have. Max level's four. Ah! That was my own fault. I did that to myself. Whoop. Alright, there we go. That'll be good. Jazzy! 
Okay, that drill is going to drill all the way through. And now I have a hole. Whoop! Obviously, don't fall down the hole. There's spikes down there. There we go. Dodge! So I'm only... It looks like I'm doing really well, but I'm only at about 5,000 points, which really is not that much. Oh, no! I did that to myself, too. Ay ay ay. So as far as I can tell, there's no penalty for uh, leaving blocks stacked all the way up to the top. Yep, that's gone. Get it? Oh. So you can just leave them stacked all the way up to the top, and it's not a problem. That was nice of you, game. Thank you. Thank you again, game. So let's, oh, let's break this. The bigger the combo, the more points you get. Look at that. Ah, I'm only level two. Oh, this will be. Oh, I got just demolished right there. Hang on, I want to get to those points, Doritos. No. Oh well. Oh, crap. Alright, I'll just get rid of that. No problem. Break that one, break that one, and now that one's harmless. And we can keep going. There's not really much more to say about the game. What you see is what you get is very much so the case here. Uh, the, as you advance in levels, the game gets more complex. Uh, there are different block types that will be trying to kill you. The game speeds up, slows down. Honestly, I think it's a very well-designed game and a very fun game to play. And for the price of $8, that's not that bad. Whoop. These little boxes you see house little Doritos inside of them. Whoa. And if you shoot it to break it, then it'll be a lot... A lot more will come out than if you just let it sit there. It keeps piling up up there. So if this shoot this... I even got a gem. How lucky. Whoa, that was close. Oh! Unnecessary. Oh! Block stopped me. Uh, very easy to die, almost instant death. If you can see just with that, I only ended up, you know, fifth on the high score list against the computer. Uh, so if we back out of this, I can show you it gets a little bit more complicated uh, when you get into the forest, the War of the Woods. It gets slightly more complicated. Be a different environment, I like that. And then you get these new bouncy blocks. They help you jump around a little bit. But they are destroyed just as easily as the uh, black blocks. They cause all the damage with the spikes and the guns. As you get higher up in the game, you'll find sometimes there will be blades on the wall that uh, just like the drill, how it just falls down, there will be blades on the wall, so you have to avoid the blades over here, and then they'll go across. They'll run across this entire uh, spot, uh, all the blocks. This is very dangerous. Alright, I can do that. <laughs> That's the puzzle part of it. The rest of the time, you're platforming. As you can see, just the block types here are extremely different, and this is the second area in the game. Whoop, whoop. So, uh, not going to show too much of that one. You can kind of see how it, uh, the game varies. New challenge. Dials, whatever that means. So, uh, go ahead and look at this new challenge. So, what is this challenge? 
You have the cape, and you have a gun that shoots you backwards. Whoa! So it looks like this is a survive map. Oh, you're kidding me. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's one of the challenges. You also have this TNT challenge. Which is odd. So, you saw- oh! Yep, the TNT will land on top of each other and they'll just try to kill you on that one. Uh, cannon challenge, I'm sure you can guess by now. Yeah, whoop. You can see they fire at mostly random intervals, so I don't know how I would have survived that one. <laughs> uh, but that these are not easy challenges. And there are many of them that I have yet to see. The Spikes Challenge is gold. I already beat the Spikes Challenge before. The little ninja dude, I'm totally good with that. This is how I learned that you can run across these. This is the Spikes Challenge. Boom! I was close, I almost got caught. Two, one, zero, win! It looks easy, but it took a long time to actually do that one. Um, but that's, that is the entire game right there. It, it is no more complicated than that. It can be picked up by anyone, a great casual game uh, that still has something for the hardcore gamer. You can see how many gems you have uh, retrieved. So I've gotten 24. I didn't need, I think I only needed a little bit, like two or three. And that unlocked the next level. I need six gems. And then I'll unlock the Retro Relic for 10, and then 16, 20, 24. So those little gems you saw earlier that give 100 points, that's how you unlock the next level. But uh, yeah, the game has everything, something for everyone. Uh, it's a great casual puzzle platforming game. And it's only 8 bucks on Steam. Check it out down below. I have the link. I'm sure you can find it on other sites such as Good Old Games and uh, Game Fan Shop. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. This was Super Puzzle Platformer Deluxe.